Hey, 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 T Rex dinosaurs and all sorts of weird stuff. Um, if you want to see more Planet War, uh, leave a like, I suppose. But today we're not doing Planet War. No, I've downloaded a save file that lets us play as the Mongols. That's right, everybody's favourite My Little Pony enthusiast. Today we are playing as the Mongols. Uh, how exactly this is going to work? So it's not actually a mod. It's just a save. You can tell it's a save game because they left it on like small unit. Yeah, whilst we're not on large or huge unit currently, I don't think it actually is small. I think it's like normal or something, which it's a little bit depressing. Depressing, but what's not really depressing about this channel anymore? It's been a while since I've played Medieval 2 Total War, so I'm not entirely sure if this King's Purse thing, which is part of my income, is normal. Um, I'll have to double check that, but that might be something just for the Mongols. I'm sure anyone who plays Medieval 2 Total War more probably knows, but that might be a little bit cheaty. But you know what? Cheaty schmeaty, I'm not really that fussed a meaty, because I want to play as the Mongols, and I want to do some expanding. But where exactly do we expand to? Russia, maybe? Uh, I feel like we've already already done that in a past life, so maybe we should go somewhere new, fresh, and ready to be plundered. That does mean I'm having to uh, sit here for a couple turns as I spam click my way across the map. Oh, my diplomat did reach Novgorod, though, which is uh, pretty cool. Well, do you guys want to give me some map information, perhaps? You do! Perfect Mundo, Mr. L oh. Mr. Putin, I didn't know it was you. Well, after God knows how many turns spam clicking, we've made it to our new home, Rome. It's just not as epic when the, <laughs> the unit scale is so small. It, it just it takes all the fun away. Although to be fair, there's like three guys I'm up against in a siege of Rome, so I'm not that I'm not that fussed that it's not an epic battle right now. I've never actually tried this, but can my giant flaming arrow throwers break down walls? They they can. Does. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense or not. Well, with my plan of taking out walls with arrows, um, yeah, I guess that's the Siege of Rome, because there's only three people here to stop me. Ah, oh, heresy, isn't it? Just a whole bunch of pony stuff sieging down Rome. I just can't get- I- this is disgusting. They're not done yet. Still, just plenty, plenty of horse stuff. Uh, unsurprisingly, the Mongolian campaign has a lot of just standing around- oh, there you go, I think I killed the Pope. That's right. Screw you, Pope. All right, now, after taking Rome, here comes the real tough question. You see, once you take a province in medieval, you really need to decide how many people you want to kill. Boom, we've switched our capital over here now, and that means we are now Rome Golians. That's right. You heard me. Oh, well, clearly the Pope did not learn his lesson the first time around when I took his undefended city, which was garrisoned by, like, three people. Um, actually, that kind of makes sense that he wants a proper fight. Unfortunately for him, though, I have the superior ability to run around in circles. That's right. Medieval Beyblading is my favorite tradition. It's also pretty, pretty damn useful tat- Hold on a second. It's not a useful tactic. I'm using my Katushas on myself right now. Haven't ever really seen that tactic in Beyblading before. Yeah, because this is a siege battle and I sallied out against them, the, the enemy is just not really doing anything, so my, my spinning in circle tactic is doing pretty well because they'll fake run me out like this, but then they get peppered with arrows and they'll just turn back. It's, um, it's quite the battle, I've got to say. I've literally had enough time to bring the Kachushas all the way up to this hill so I could have a better shot on them. That's how that's how little they have done in this battle. Yep, you guys just you're still gonna you're just gonna sit there while I just shoot you with giant exploding arrows, okay. Oh, I don't think that was the Pope, but the general's dead. Uh kinda wish it was the Pope though, because um I, that would have been two popes under my belt, but unfortunately we're still on the one. I don't know a thing about My Little Pony, but Batu the Horseman sounds like my type of pony. Oh, uh, I think the Pope's <laughs> the Pope's done with fighting for now. Tell you what, do you want an alliance? No, okay, we're just trade rights it is. So not only did I plunder Rome from them, they now also want me to sell grapes to them. Can I have some map information? Hmm. Here we go. Time to alter the deal. How about this one? <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Well, more spinning in circles where I wipe out half the enemy's army before it gets anywhere near me. Oh no, not Khan Jochi the Horseman, my my favourite of the Khans. We now have, oh, it's Khan Batu the Horseman. He's now in charge. 
what, what a nice guy he is. Oh. So he's a warlord of terror, a mean leader, severely austere, feel honored, eager, night fighter, blissfully ignorant, religious. Yep, those two kind of go hand in hand. Uh, I came west for freedom, but I'm just confused by your ways. I'm being shaken down for 220 florins. Accept my demands that you will not attack or I will attack. Needless to say, I'm now at war with the HRE and also the, this Milanese army is is it's in my goddamn way, so we're gonna have to take those guys out too. I'm just gonna exterminate population on every single province because I'm hella rich and I can afford to do Oh, wait a second. I just found another Pope. I gotta up my Pope kill count. The Pope's bravely running away. You can tell because he's raised the Danish flag of surrender. Unfortunately, I am Mongolian and I don't speak your weird gibberish languages. And of course, the Venetians, wanting to continue in their great profiteering capitalistic greed, have decided they'd rather ally me than face my wrath. I'll accept Venice. Not before I don't burn another town in Italy. Venice didn't even own Venice. Milan owned Venice, which means... Where, where the hell are you? What are you doing, Venice? Oh, even though I've wiped out the Pope and his presence down here, he just still spawns in Italy, which means my Pope kill count is about to go up pretty damn high. Uh, just another day with the Pope and the Danish flag. I'm building my throne out of the dead Popes I've killed and their hats. Right, there's the Pope, and guess what? Next turn, he will magically reappear in my lands. I can't wait. Well, well, well. <laughs> Would you look at that? He's back. The Pope is honestly a terribly bad smell at this point. Okay, I sent one unit of horsemen up against the Pope and he's actually managing to 1v3 them. He's already killed the third guy, now it's just a 1v2. Are you are you telling me this 70 year old man has the ability to take down 40 of my toughest guys? Are you kidding me? I never mind. I just sent the rest of my army and killed him anyway, but that technically was one win for the Pope there. There you go. I, I've, I've managed to make Rome Golia majority Islamic now. Welcome, guys, to, to my new city. If you're wondering why I'm not showing more battles, is because it is quite literally Arrow Simulator. Oh, there goes Batu the Horseman, my favorite slaver and religious guy. That's all I remembered from his reign. Uh, I'm really hoping none of my, my faction leaders actually spawn over in the, the eastern parts of my land, because I still technically own that province. I just got map information off Portugal, and they own Ireland. Hold on, I... Pride presented to <laughs> Mamjis the Ugly. <laughs> yep, of the Ungred. The Hungarians just walked all the way to Bulga, which was the province we started with. Um, I still own it, and they're, they're sieging it down with, like, not, not enough people to actually siege it down. So I'm going to make their journey a very, unfortunately, not worthwhile one for them and beat them. Oh, da I just realized uh, I got a general over here. It's Kublai! It's Kublai Khan! Uh, is it the Kublai Khan? I... I I don't know, but either way, we got Kublai, Kublai, Kublai! Yeah. If I'm correct, Kublai Khan was the one that founded the Yuan Dynasty in China, but I'm not entirely sure how lost he might be, because this is definitely not China. Oh no, I, I don't think Bulgar is going to hold out against the Hungarians. They've brought, they've brought at least four more units to take me out now. So if you wonder what I'm doing right now, I'm leading the new Mongol expansion down here in the Balkans under Khan Jeb. He has the trait incredibly boring. Oh, the Hungarians took my home province, so I'm I'm now taking theirs as revenge under Khan Jeb. That's right, we're gonna enslave the Hungarians and make them all clap in the streets for Jeb as I burn down their city, then leave. Oh wait, hold that fort. The plague's here. Uh, I don't want Khan Jeb to die, so we're just gonna we're gonna hide for a bit. Uh, got in a bit of a fight with the French, and uh, they brought what appears to be more artillery than actual men. Oh yeah, the famous battle of the uh, Crusade of Rome against Abayan the Raffle against King Saderno the Cacold. Unsurprisingly, that crusade didn't go too well. Oh, here we go. I uh, have an even greater threat. What is more greater than the Mongol invasion? Come, come on, I took Rome. Are you really saying the Timurids are going to do bad? Now? I'm currently pillaging through France. An even greater threat than the Mongols. Come on, I survived the Black Plague. I, I'm, I'm sieging down Paris. Oh. Jihad called against Const That is very, very uh, lucky, actually, because I was actually sending an army there to burn it to the ground anyway. Well, there goes Paris. 
And next, it's time for Constantinople. Oh, what? No! Someone assassinated my faction leader. I don't think that was Jeb. I think Jeb died a while ago. He was so boring. I, I didn't even realize he died, but that was Abby and the Raffle. Um, I can't believe I actually forgot Jeb died. I didn't even realize. Oh, there goes Constantinople. Either way, uh, it, it said I failed the jihad because my faction leader died, but technically, it's still a gaming win. There we go. And in, in honor of Jeb, we've renamed it to Jeb Stantinople. Oh, well, now that Jeb's dead, I have no motivation to continue in life, even though he probably died many turns ago, and I only just realized. But here's the world. Um, we had a lot of fun. Uh, look, the Timurids definitely didn't do much. I Anyone that said they were better than me is clearly fake news, and I will be taking it up as libel against me and my Mongol agenda, but... Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you leave a like and subscribe button down below. Let me know if you want to see more Planet War, actually, because I think that was a bit of a niche thing, and I don't know if you guys want to see more of that, but I'd be more than willing to give it another go as a different race. Uh, feel free to let me know who's actually playing that one, too, because I'm still very unfamiliar with the mod. But um, till next time, guys, I will catch you around.